Hey guys, what's up? My name is Evan Schneider and today in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest and easiest way to get perfect skin tones in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. Okay, so we are here in DaVinci Resolve 12.5 and just to note that this technique will work in any version of Resolve that you have, whether it's older or newer, it's a very universal technique. So you'll see I have my three shots here, this one, Here's my second shot and here's my third shot. Now, overall, these images are pretty green tinted, so that's what we wanna fix in the skin tones. So first, I'm just gonna make a serial node and I'm just gonna increase the contrast a bit to get a little more contrast in the image and also a little more color. So I'll just boost that up a little bit right here. And you can see that our skin tones are already coming out a little more. Next, I'm gonna make another serial node and now I'm gonna to go to the Curves Adjustment tool. Now you'll see here, if you click on this button, that you have Hue versus Hue, Hue versus Sat, Hue versus Loom, Loom versus Sat, and Sat versus Sat. These are all of your different adjustments. What we wanna to use today for this is the Hue versus Hue. So basically this curve takes any hue and you can shift it to any point. So there's two ways you can do this. The first way is to use the eyedrop picker and click on a portion of the person's skin. You can see here that it added a point on the graph where his skin tone corresponds. Now we can take that point and drag it to change the skin tone. You can see here an extreme example of where it's actually affecting. So you can see that it's not affecting his entire skin tone. So I'm gonna reset this and I'm actually just gonna make a broad stroke. I'm gonna click on this yellow button and it'll automatically create a point on the graph for me in this range. Now, since I have a wider range, it'll affect the skin tones in a smoother way. So if I click this point and drag it up towards magenta, you can see here that I have a very slight shift, but his skin tone is pushing more towards the magenta side, which is where I want it to be. The key with skin tones is to be very subtle. The next thing I wanna do is go to the hue versus sat graph and make another point on that yellow range. Next, to boost a little more saturation into the skin tones, I'll push this up. Now you can see the difference even more dramatically. This is before, this is after. This is before, after. You can see that his skin tone doesn't have that green cast anymore, and it has a nice color separation from the green leaves in the background. So if I toggle the two nodes on and off, you can really see the dramatic difference I made very quickly to this footage. This is before, this is after. Before, after. Now I'm going to apply this grade to the rest of my shots. So I'll go to color, memories, save memory A, and I'll go to the next shot, color, memories, load memory A. And I'll go to the next shot and I'll press command one to apply the grade. You can see here that my skin tone adjustment is really taking out the green in their skin tones and still separating it from the background. In this shot too, before, after, before, after. So I hope you guys can see that this is a really easy way to get perfect and accurate skin tones really quickly. If you want a more accurate skin tone shift, you can always use the eyedropper to create a custom point on the graph. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comments.